This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines today. More than 5,700 coronavirus cases have been reported in Missouri, and they have been 193 deaths. The total across the state of Illinois now tops 30,000. There's also been nearly 1,300 deaths. A new testing site opens its doors in North St. Louis today, located on Riverview Boulevard. It's one of four sites opening in our area in the next few days. Major retailers are taking steps to stop the spread of COVID-19 as employees at both Walmart and Sam's Club have started to wear masks. But starting today, that will now become a requirement. And when you walk inside their stores, the company is also encouraging that you wear a mask as well. Metro is once again making changes to its bus schedule because of the virus outbreak. And starting today, Metro will temporarily suspend six routes that are used less frequently. Other routes will see increased rides to reduce overcrowding. The changes will not impact bus routes in Illinois or any Metrolink service. You can check our Kimmel V News app for more information. Time now for a check of the weather. Sunny to start the day, but can't rain on the way. That's right, Mo. We're looking at a beautiful start to the day out there and then uh, clouds and showers and thunderstorms rolling in in the afternoon and evening. So nice and mild. Temperature will hit about 70 today. No problem there with some early sunshine, but then the clouds roll in and some strong thunderstorms rolling in this afternoon and this evening as well. In fact, look at the super predictor here beginning this morning and you'll see those clouds increasing from the northwest. There they are and showers and thunderstorms rolling in as well. And they all roll in from the northwest to the southeast through the afternoon and evening. You might also notice that they appear to be a little bit more numerous and maybe a little heavier in the southwest part of the viewing area. And indeed, that is where we anticipate the highest risk that some of those storms could become severe by later this afternoon and this evening. Rains out of here late tonight through tomorrow, so we'll have dry weather. But there is a low risk in that southwestern part of the viewing area that one or two of these storms could become severe. 70 degrees the high today, nice early, but then the storms rolling in this afternoon through this evening. 62 tomorrow, breezy and cooler, but partly cloudy and dry. And it looks like some afternoon rain and storms possible on Wednesday and really a rain chance each day the rest of the week. The highest probability on Thursday. But again, some spot showers and thunderstorms right on through the weekend. At least the temperatures remain pretty mild.